time at Hunan First Provincial Normal School, also known as Hunan First Normal University. This leading higher education institution is where Mao Zedong studied from 1913 to 1918, and later where he taught for nearly two and a half years. The eight years at Hunan First Provincial Normal School were transformative for Mao. They saw him grow from a patriotic student to teacher and to revolutionist. The eighth classroom is the former one where Mao Zedong attended lectures, and this is his seat. In those years, Mao Zedong not only learned in class, but also expanded his knowledge outside of the classroom. Making his own reading plan, he focused on study books on philosophy, history, literature, and so on. Mao gradually established his beliefs as he studied and worked in the school. This laid a smooth foundation for him to step onto China's position safe and lead the Chinese revolution. Today, the university uses teaching methods that were used by early CPC members, such as outdoor lessons as well as using Mao's story to inspire students. Mao's teacher, Yang Changji, encouraged Mao's interest in physical exercise during his school years. This included code box, which is said to improve awareness and willpower. From the spring of 1913 to the summer of 1918, more attached important to the study of professional expertise and developing other faculties, emphasizing saving the Chinese and the Chinese people and the social practices. Therefore, he was active in leading students' activities and uh, threw himself into struggles against imperialism and uh, feudalism. During his summer vacation, he invited his uh, classmates to attend a study tour, during which he learned more about rural society and people from all walks of life in rural areas. His social practices laid a foundation for him to work out rural problems. Alongside teaching at the university school from 1920 to 1922, Mao enthusiastically endorsed Marxism and helped establish the first communist organizations in Hunan province. In June 1921, as representatives of the province's communist organization, Mao and He Shuheng went to Shanghai and attended the first National Congress of Chinese Communist Party. It was during this conference that the Chinese Communist Party was founded. To this day, the university holds competitive Chinese and English recitals of Mao's poems. Let's listen to an English recital of Mao's poem Changsha, named after the capital of Hunan province. It's read by Liu Mingdong, director of public foreign language teaching department. Changsha to the tomb of Qin Yuanchun, standing alone in autumn cold. Northward runs the river Xiangjiang O. At the head of orange pallet, I behold mountains of red, far and near, with the forest dark clear. The river shows a green face, budgies are busy as if in a race. Eagles clean the blue, far and wide, fishes glide in shallows, side by side. For freedom, all creatures in frosty days drive, facing the world with its mask. The boundless earth, may I ask, who dominates all and rise as his task? Who dominates all and rise as his task? With tens of companions, I came to visit in their past. Memory of so many proud days does ever last. Students in the golden age rest had talent and elegance at the heart. With the scholars' spirit pool, we hold to the head with strings of the pool. To rivers and mountains, our hands we deep grace. Words were the tool of blame or praise. We built it on mighty laws of olden days. Do you still remember? Do you still remember? Oh my, swimming the midstream, we made waves high. 
that states speeding boats, passing by.